Robert Fuller was a well-known beloved American horse rancher and retired actor. He was the bright name in the golden age of Hollywood. He changed the world through the power of his determination and persistence. Throughout his journey, he faced many setbacks and challenges, but his craze to achieve his goal led him to success. He was born in 1933 in Troy, New York. To parents Betty and Robert Simpson, senior Robert grew up in a family of performers. His mother was a dancer and his father was a radio announcer. Robert's passion for acting was evident from an early age and he soon made a name for himself as a talented performer. After serving in the United States Army during the Korean War, Robert moved to Hollywood to pursue a career in acting. He quickly found success, starring in several popular television shows, including Laramie and Wagon Train. It was his role as Dr. Kelly Brackett on the hit medical drama, Emergency, that solidified his place in television history. Robert Fuller once said, Acting has been my career and my life. I've loved every moment of it, and I feel blessed to have had the opportunity to do what I love for so many years. Despite his success on screen, Robert's personal life was not without struggles. He battled an addiction to alcohol and prescription drugs and had several failed marriages. However, he never lost his love for acting and continued to perform well into the 1980s. He played Alex in a 1958 episode of Death Valley Days, The Gunsmith, in support of guest star Anthony Caruso. When he returned to the show in 1959 to play clever Mexican-American cattle rustler Johnny Santos in the episode, Ten in Texas. His blockbuster movies made him more productive and responsive. On February 24, 1959, Fuller guest starred in the episode, Blind is the Killer, in NBC's Samaran City television series. This appearance propelled him into a lead role seven months later in Laramie, one of the comparatively few network programs set in Wyoming. Throughout his career, he earned awards, and in 1989 he won the Golden Boot Award. On March 18, 2006, a bronze sculpture for Jess Harper on Traveller was awarded to him by the Robert Fuller Fandom and the National Festival of the West in recognition of his years of work at the entertainment industry. He received his second Silver Award in 2007, Along with Stuart Whitman, Peter Brown, and Dean Smith, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award. Robert Fuller's life was a testament to the power of perseverance and hard work. His journey to success was not easy, but he never gave up on his dreams. He once said, Experience is the teacher of all things. This quote reflects his belief that every experience, good or bad, is an opportunity to learn and grow. Robert Fuller was a 24-year-old black man who was found hanging from a tree in Palmdale, California, on June 10, 2020. His death was initially ruled a suicide by local authorities, but this determination was met with skepticism and outrage from community members and activists who called for a more thorough investigation into the circumstances of his death. After widespread public outcry and pressure from Fuller's family and their attorney, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and the FBI investigated Fuller's death. In September 2020, the agencies announced that their investigation found no evidence of foul play and concluded that Fuller had died by suicide. Despite the hardships he faced, he never lost sight of his dreams and continued to pursue his passion for acting until the very end. His legacy is a reminder that anything is possible with hard work, determination and a positive attitude.